Well, here we go, fellas. No my Heidi my the final one. The last video vlog of this series. Video number 51. Five one. And we're only a day out from our foundation dinner tomorrow night. Catching up with a few fellas tonight at the, at the old tote in uh, in Trentham and um, Beast and the boys and uh, I think Paddy and that are meeting up in town at the back bencher. So uh, go well, fellas. Take it easy. Pace yourselves. We've got a big night tomorrow, and um, can't wait to see you uh, see you all. Now, our final video guest, fellow classmate. Uh, of course, from our fabulous years at Stream 1989 to 93. It's really cool, actually, that we've got um, this fellow classmate of yours on for our final interview, because I couldn't think of anyone better, really. Um, now, he's beaming in all the way from the United Kingdom. So it's about 10 o'clock uh, in the evening over there. It's 9 a.m. here uh, in, in New Zealand. Um, now, a little bit about this guy. I had the privilege of playing cricket with him in our third form year for the mighty 3A cricket team, coached by, of course, Des Boyle. That was a great, great, great year. Um, look, he went on to be one of the, um, yeah, one of the finest sportsmen um, out of our entire year, actually. He played fabulous cricket. That was his, his gig. Uh, great bowler, played first 11 cricket, was a good all-rounder though, played first 15 rugby um, and pretty much was just, just a, a, a talented, talented boy all the way from the metropolis of Martin. Um, had a younger brother come and join us. Um, his father, I, I remember, or, or family, ran the local hotel in, uh, in Martin, which was um, a, a famous uh, pub there in the Rangitiki uh, uh, district. And uh, look, just, just a good around bloke, um, funny. Uh, and, and I know a lot of you guys um, are looking forward to hearing from him. So look, video number 51, the last one, can I say a massive kia ora and welcome to the bloke that we called Corker. It's Andrew Cording. G'day, Andy. G'day, Huge. How you going, mate? Hey, well, good, good <laughs> to see you, man. And Thanks for staying up over there and joining us for our last video. It's so good to see you, bro. Yeah, good to see you, mate. Yeah, anytime. Yeah. Okay. I've been hounded a few times by a few boys about when I'm going to do it. So, yep. yeah, tonight's the, tonight's the night. Tonight's the night. Paddy Ford, this one's for you, brother. Yeah, Paddy, stop hounding me, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Listen to that little accent. You know what I mean? I love it. <laughs> okay. Eddie, take us back. Of course, you were a boarder at Stream. 1989, you came along. I think you came from Huntley School, if, I, if I'm correct. Um, but you might correct me there. Um, tell us a bit about your first year. So where did you come from? Um, how many years you, you did at Stream? And um, can you remember sort of your first memories of, of walking into the, the boarding hostel? Yeah, um, yeah, you did right there. I came uh, from Huntley with uh, Hugo McNaught. Scrawny, he was there, and uh, and big bruiser Bryce Devan. So us three turned up there, and um, yeah, I was there from 1989 to 1993, five years. Fantastic, yeah. and of course you boarded. <laughs> I think a lot of the uh, boards could say just, but you were a boarder yeah. the whole time. Can you remember your first boarding bay up in Redwood? Yeah, I was in Bay Eight with uh, Scotty Jensen and uh, and Neasy, Mark Nees. And we also had the infamous uh, Dave Wallace as our prefect. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, it, was, it was, wasn't a bad little spot, actually. Yeah, Dave Wallace. Well, I thought it was until uh, Dave Wallace used to get his rugby boots on and then, uh, yeah, well, hell broke loose. But uh, yeah, well, he's actually... We got all's this... forgiven, all's forgiven. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We've got this dinner tomorrow night. Dave Wallace is coming along. Uh, so, look, a few of the boys, um, all jokes aside, looking forward to catching up with him. Um, I think the likes of Boz and that have caught up with him, you know, later in life. And, you know, he's a, he's a really good bloke. But certainly a few memories for third formers with Dave, especially when he approached um, college match day. Yeah, I remember one time I had to clean his boots. And uh, they were pretty much, they were pretty brand new, yet, to be fair. I think he'd only worn them once. And... I thought, oh, this is, this is easy, done, done and through him and 
you know, got the nugget out and shine them all up. And then, uh, and then he, he sort of was putting his socks on and his boots on. I thought, what the hell's happening here? And then, and then he, he said, lay down, lay down by your bed. So I was like, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I, I laid down beside my bed and he jumped all over me with his boots. Yeah, pretending I was one of the Wellington College boys, or I can't even remember who they were playing, but yeah, he, 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 he certainly left a few scars on me, that's for sure. Now, when you eventually got there uh, at, at the top level, did you get anyone cleaning your boots? I can't remember, to be honest, mate. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. All right. Hey, yeah. um, being a boy. I think those days were long gone when we got there, you know what I mean? You remember yeah. touching one or, or the cane, the cane had disappeared and. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was a bit boring, wasn't it? Hey, you were, of course were a border all the time, and look, I know um, former brother Bede now. John was a big influence um, for you. You got some good memories of Bede? Yeah, brother Bede. Yeah, he was he was an absolute gem of a bloke. You know what I mean? He was he was he was fantastic. Um, but tough on us in the early days. You know what I mean? I think he obviously wanted to get all the boys into shape and. And you know, dis discipline them down the right lines, and yeah. But I mean, once you got out of that that third and fourth form, yeah, he, he was he was especially to me and and uh, to Jamie. You know, he loved his cricket, and he, he was he was bloody brilliant to me. And I, I know he he was my second cousin and all this sort of stuff. But um, yeah, and no, a, a fantastic bloke, and um, yeah, it would be great. I haven't seen him for a few years now. I remember speaking to him on the phone, pretty. Uh, once before I just left to come live here, yeah. But um, he seems to be doing all right. I understand yeah. he's back home in Christchurch, and yeah, 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 yeah he is. Yeah, he's doing himself. well. He's into his golf. And, yeah, uh, loves his golf. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's doing well. All right, look, look. Um, so you, you did the whole five years. Tell us, what did you do the first year out? So '94, what did you end up doing? Well, first year out, I, I, I actually went and painted houses. With James Henderson. Wow. So that was the that was the summer, the first summer out of school when we left. Yeah, I, mean, I, I ended up living with um, staying with James at his house as, as parents took me in because I was obviously playing cricket down in uh, Wellington and trying to make a go of it. And um, yeah, James took me in and he had a couple of neighbours down the road that one of their houses painted. So me and him done that pretty much for the summer. It was a yeah, it was a great little job. Wow. Yeah. Now, now, you touched on it. Look, you loved your sport. You played really um, uh, good sport, top level. Did you carry on after school in either cricket or rugby or both? Uh, yeah, I played, well, yeah, I played rugby. Yeah, rugby and cricket. I played, uh, when I left school, I went um, cricket. I went to play for Onslow in Wellington. And my rugby, I went to um, Huddle Boys Marist yep. with a few other boys like, you know, Jamie and Jamie Williams and, and Jakey, Jakey Smith. And, oh, there was a whole heap of us on there. Scotty Jensen, I think he was there. And uh, Will, um, I'm trying to think. Nolan Mackey. Yeah, uh, awesome. Oh, there was half Oss, the team. Yeah. Yeah. I was half the school was there, I think. You know what I mean? At some stage. So, wow. So I had a couple of years there. And, yeah, it was good fun. Under 19s, I think it was. I, I ended up going back and playing against Silverstream and, um, Getting an airful there, I remember, from the boys on the bank oh. on Saturday afternoon. And I think, to be fair, I think we got a bit of a hiding that day. Yeah, probably deserved it. But wow. Yeah, it was all it was all good fun, mate. You know what I mean? Good fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it, was, it was a great club. I think it was just starting out then. I think we arrived. They must have amalgamated. I think they amalgamated with. I can't you got it. it. You got it. Was, it was old boys, wasn't it? Was it? It was Hutt Valley. It was yeah. Uh, Huddle boys, Huddle boys and, and Marist, wasn't it? and Hutt Valley and Marist, Obviously. yeah. Yeah, you got it. You got it. I think yeah. they amalgamated uh, actually in I think it was ninety one, uh, and 91. of course, yeah, or, or or thereabouts. And then you guys would have been there, well, ninety four, ninety four onwards. But it sounds like a yeah. bloody good team. Yeah, I think I think Wellington College had a, I think we got the semi finals and lost to Wellington College, and they had a they had a, a great side. You know what I mean? They, I think they ended up winning the competition. It was the first team I think that. Won the Anthony 19 competition coming from the school for a few years. Well, now yeah, um, so. we've touched on it, but um, uh, Jake's dad, Lee, uh, has passed away, of course, now. Rest in peace, Lee. But was he, I know he was your coach at school in a couple of uh, sports, but did he also coach that 
had a Harold Boys Marist team as well? Yeah, Lee was obviously the first of thing coach in the last year at school and then followed Jake to Harold Boys Marist, I think. Yeah, and he was our under-19s coach as well for a, for a season there, which was um, which was good because... You know, he was he was a, he was a, a bloody decent bloke, and he had a, you know the amount of time he put in for us kids, and really we were just kids. And mm. yeah, I was shocked last night when I when I sort of saw Jake's uh, interview that I didn't realise that he passed away. And yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Um, let's talk about uh, the UK. So, how long have you been here? Exactly where are you in in London? Um, and what are you doing for work? Well, well, we've been here eight years now. My partner, um, she is English, and um, we decided, if, obviously, a few years ago that we'd move here just for her parents, really. They're ageing, and since we've been here, her dad and her brother's passed away, and her mother's not in the greatest shape. So we decided to pack up and move over. We were only coming over for a couple of years, and <laughs> now it's been about eight. Um, wow. Yeah, so we just we just take it month by month. You know what I mean? We're in, we don't yeah. know what's going to happen. I'm go with the flow sort of type of guy. So you know, yeah, but I enjoy it. It's good. Yeah, I don't mind it. The winter is a bit bit rubbish and bloody cold, and we get, you know you get snow and all that, which is a bit of a novelty. But you soon get sick of it after a while. But yeah, whereabouts um, are you exactly? Where, where, where's home? Uh, we are in a place called Wokingham, which is well in a suburb of Wokingham, which is. No, it's, it's probably on the train an hour on the slow train about an hour out of out of London. You get the fast train it takes you about twenty five minutes, so we're not too too far away from London. Okay. Yeah. And how does it work? Do you is it uh what, what counties? Uh, what county are you in? Uh, we're in Berkshire. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So for Royal, someone Royal Royal Berkshire. Well, Royal. Okay. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so for someone like me who's never been to uh, to England or the UK, um, and you know you've lived in cities and in rural places here in New Zealand, is it a total different world compared to where you are now? Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's a lot more busy. And like obviously, uh, before I moved here, we were living in Wanganui, um, and Wanganui is probably I don't know the population is about forty thousand scratching on that somewhere around there and so when you when I moved here it was like sort of moving to a Wellington and a half you know I mean there's probably about six seven hundred thousand people that live around here mm, mm. yeah so it's a it's a big difference you notice it with the traffic and yeah obviously the people when you go into town is yeah and it is a, some days can be it can be chaos you know what I mean what about it's the weather's what about um expense wise is it an, is it an expensive place to live um, well, it's not too bad actually. Yeah, it's pretty relative. If you're earning pounds and you know what I mean, it, yeah, it tends to be all right. I think I think if you if you converted it back, it's probably some aspects are a lot cheaper living here than in New Zealand is, and right, um, like supermarkets, you know, food shopping, um, you know, obviously, you know, if you if you're having a couple of beers and all that sort of stuff, um, I think. I know I was talking to Will a couple of weeks ago and I asked him how much a pint a, a pint in one of his pubs was and I think he said nineteen dollars. I, I can't does that does that sound right or not? That sounds pretty expensive. Um look they are up there. I think uh, uh now a standard pint in any New Zealand pub is about ten, eleven dollars. Oh right, okay, yeah. Um, so yeah. it's about the same, yeah. It's about five, five pounds. Right. Four pound fifty a pint. So but what, I'm yeah. not sure about setting a few, but what's going crazy here is this craft beer, micro yeah, breweries. Yeah, craft beer. the same. Like, yeah, the same here. Now well, they yeah. get up. They can get up to fifteen yeah. to twenty bucks. You know, because there's some yeah. of them are really high. Um, oh, they're maybe all that's what he was, Maybe that's what he was talking about. To be fair. Yeah. Um, well. Yeah. So just, I mean, like I said, it's all relative, isn't it? I mean, uh, it's probably cheaper to live in New Zealand as an app. Uh, you know, renting or your mortgage or whatever, because here is you know is is, is well expensive houses and and rent and that yeah it can be yeah. Hey, tell us about your family. Are you married and do you have children? Uh, not married, but I've been with Catherine for 20, 
20 years, 21 years. So well, that time you popped the question yeah, in there, cool. Yeah, I keep I keep asking her every year and she tells me, she keeps on telling me she's waiting for the right man. So I've given up. <laughs> I've given up. Wow. Um, Oh well, yeah. um, hey, congrats so, on being together for over twenty. That's a that's a yeah, good thing. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Even I, I scratch myself sometimes and think, "Jeez, have I done it?" You know what I mean? Well, I know how you've done it, man. It's that good-looking head of hair you got on you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, now, what about what about children? Cork, you got kids? We've got uh, we've got three girls. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah. The house. Yeah. I like to call it the house of vagina. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so you've obviously got the girl jeans there. That, that's good. Yeah, I, I saw. Um, I've seen Shorty's one and and, Fu, and old Fu. They, they've got a. They've got three of three girls each or something, haven't they? So yeah, yep. yeah, there's, a, there's a lot of girls floating around. So yeah, I've got Ella. She's um, she's 15, uh, and then I've got Zoe. She uh, she is 12, and then I've got little Soph who is turning 10. Uh, in two weeks time oh wonderful yeah, so. One, wonderful mate that's that's great um now here's here's getting back to silver stream wow memories of now you've got heaps i know you've got plenty uh, of memories from the hostel from your sporting um days um from socializing have you just got a, a couple that have stuck with you mate that you wouldn't mind sharing with the rest, rest of the guys i've got a couple i'd love to tell you but it'd be yeah, I'd be putting a few people crook, if you know what I mean. But, um, <laughs> one involves Michael Stack and Douglas McGifford, but that's all I need to stay there. I'm not. I'm not going to go any further than that. They don't know um, I mean, to be fair, a lot of them, a lot of them, have been said already. You know what I mean? There's some amazing parties we went to. I mean, um, just just the times we had together. You know what I mean? It was great. And Pat Poss had some great times up at his place up there, Tower of Bloody Valley, and that. And, um, I don't know. I mean, uh, at, at school, you know, it was always a bit of banter with all the boys at the front of Redwood, and yeah. you know, something, some, something, you know, getting chucked in the river on your birthday. And I remember trying to get Big Muff down the river one day, and uh, <laughs> we got him down there. We got him down there, and uh, we couldn't quite get him in. He was pushing everyone off like that. You know how big he was. He was just a bloody monster, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. And uh, we finally, someone took his legs out and he fell He fell backwards on his back and he slid on his back, head first, down into the... It was like, <laughs> he was just sort of slow motion, just, some, <laughs> just into the water. You know what I mean? I thought, I, I'll never forget that. I'm just standing there absolutely having a, having a crack up, you know, watching that. But yeah, just stuff awesome. like that. You know, there was always someone doing something wrong and getting paid out for it. And, uh, you know... You know, because we started obviously drinking alcohol then and you go to parties and someone would be bloody making an absolute dick of themselves and come to school the next day, you know, come to school on the Monday, and, you know, the boys would be parting them out, whoever it was. Yeah, yeah. You know, was, that happened every week, you know what I mean? It was, it was great. <laughs> it was great, you know, and then you had, you know, Stacker, you know, just at, ripping into people, you know, and, and, was, and he, <laughs> he, he was one of the funniest blokes I think I've ever met, you know, since yeah. I left school. Yeah, and that, you know that was at school, and yeah, he was he was unreal. You know what I mean? Just and we had a good bunch of guys, to be fair. You know what I mean? You could take it. You know what I mean? A lot of guys. That, that was part of school, I suppose. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you learn how to take, you know, take a bit of shit, I suppose, from everyone. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm no, pretty. I'm, yeah, you, well said, mate. I'm pretty biased, but man, we had a great bunch. Uh, a real, yeah. mi real mixed bunch from uh, and the day boys and boarders that all sort of came together. Um, you know, towards our, our, our sort of mid years on, um, it, it was fantastic. But I've heard many of the boys, some of their favorite memories are, are, are as simple as um, sitting out in front of Redwood uh, on the grass bank, you know, in summer, hot, uh, yeah. watching the mighty corker steam rolling down in the right. first 11 match, about to, <laughs> about to deliver a fastball, getting a wicket. You know, that, that's, that's a great memory. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I must admit, I mean, I love I love my cricket and you know and I love I love that team. It was it was great. You know we we were you know to, to be fair we were all pretty good and we got got a couple of rewards at the end of the season when we beat Town and I think we beat St Bees and we ended up going we we won the Wellington competition and ended up going to the quarterfinals I wow. think it was the the New Zealand competition and I think we got we got beaten by Palmy Boys High I think but yeah. 
No, they were good days. Yeah, good, good you know, and you play with some of your good mates as well, like you know Jamie, and he's always been one of my good mates since I left school, and we, yep. you know, continue to have a chat, and and you know, and before I moved here, I'd, I'd you know go down and stay with them, we had a few beers, and beautiful, beautiful, yeah, talk about the good old days, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, now you'd be happy to know that uh, cricket uh, and rugby are, are are in very good stead um, currently at Stream. Um, you know, good, always fielding good, good top teams. They're looking good. Um, the grounds are fabulous still, uh, if not in better nick than what they were. And, and we, they were pretty good when, when we were there. The, um, they've got brand new, they're awesome, uh, cricket nets down at stream now, and they're just fantastic. So facilities wise, still going well. And you know, Graham Duffy's the uh, rector there now. Yeah, Graham was obviously there when we were there and he was obviously making his way up and, yeah. yeah, it seems like he's done a good job. I, I still, you know, I, I still see a, a bit on social media with school and, yeah, you know, I, I saw the game the other day when uh, uh, we beat Town and didn't realise Town haven't beaten us since 2010 or something like that. Yeah, something like that. It's been a, was it been a while. Yeah, 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 which is, you know, pretty good record, really. Yeah, man. 10, 11 years. Well, hey, listen, Cork, we're, we're heading towards the end of our interview. Um now, of course, you know we're all catching up um, either tonight and tomorrow. Um, now, you've watched a few videos. I know you've got a few more to watch. I mean, there's a lot. There's nearly 20 hours worth. But what have you thought of the videos themselves and guys sharing their stories after all these years? Yeah, I think yeah, I think they've been, yeah. I, yeah I mean, you've got to take your hat off. You've done, a, you've done a fantastic job sorting this out. And Thank you, mate. Getting everyone together. And, yeah, and, and some of the videos have been great. You know, they've walked back. Some classic memories, you know. I've, I've had a great laugh at some of them. You know, some of the stories and, yeah, just thinking back, oh, geez, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. good. But, um, yeah, no, that, yeah. Oh, I'm just gutted I can't be there, you know what I mean? I'd love to be there, you know what I mean? It, I, I saw, you know, before we moved here, I, I, I used to see Mike Byrne and Will and Jamie and Aidan and Marty Watterson. We used to go and play, you know, I've been on a few golf trips with them and, um, uh, who else was there? You know, Nolan and well, yeah. boss, John O'Connor. Um, but it's the guys that I haven't seen for 30 years I'd love to catch up with, like Andy Logue, Shane Riley. Um, yeah. uh, who, who else? More? You know, guys like that. that yeah. That, yeah. Uh, you know, Justin McCarthy. I did I did see Justin. He, um, oh, a few years ago now, ended up playing a couple of a rugby game against him. But, um, but yeah, this guy's like that. You haven't seen for 30 years. Colin Hancock, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, awesome, actually, mate. That, yeah, yeah, it'd be great. But um, yeah, Didn't I'm pretty gutted I can't be there. I mean, I couldn't be there anyway with COVID restrictions and all that. So yeah, but totally. hopefully maybe we do a we do a one for our year only somewhere and over the, you know. One hundred percent. Look what 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 we've got yeah, going something. here, mate, is only the beginning. You know, yeah. um, you know. Unfortunately, the Aussie guys couldn't even join us. So, look, we're going to do this one. But I think what we're going to do is keep in touch at the very least, um, and then, depending on how this bloody COVID pans out, um, you know, we can all hopefully catch up in some way or form, and you know, in the, in the very near future. Um, now, you mentioned a couple of names there. I'm picking up Shane this afternoon. Uh, and uh, Will and, and we, you know, just going up to the tote and catching up with Justin and, and a few boys. So, yeah. mate, we'll make sure that we um, grab a tall bottle and uh, and we'll we'll toast you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, have a couple of beers. Mate, look after Beast because he's 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 a two bottle man, and then he you know he might fall asleep underneath the table. Mate, you know he's already this thing's he's, uh, he's already down here, right? He's been here for a few days. <laughs> He used to live next. He used to live around the corner from me in Wanganui. So me and him used to go around each other's houses on a Wednesday night sometimes and have a few beers. And oh wow! He'd, he'd, he'd bring a box box of Steinlager Blue around, put it in my garage, and you know it'd, it'd last a month. You know what I mean? Because he'd only have a couple <laughs> of bottles, and he'd be off his off his bloody face. Oh wow! Yeah. All right, Mister. Um, last question. Look, we're going to get this video out. This is the last one, um, and it's a real oh, seriously. It's a pleasure to have you on, mate, all the way from from the UK. Thanks for joining us. But we're going to get this out to the boys. So that I know they don't want to hear and see you. You, you. you haven't changed, mate, apart from that little uh, English uh, twang you've got going on there. Oh, I don't say that, huge. Don't say that. <laughs> hey, but look, do you want to give a? If I, get, if I get one of those, I'm, I don't know what I'll do. 
<laughs> yeah. now, I don't want to sound like them. Have you got I a work message? with enough of them. They do my head in sometimes. Uh, now, have you got a message yeah. for the guys that are going to be watching this? Give, give them a wee shout out from Corker. Go for it. Yeah, I, I just think, you know, obviously everyone's meeting up this weekend and, you know, go for it. Have a couple of beers. I'm sure once the bears start flying, so will the bullshit. You know what I mean? Especially from Pat Ford. <laughs> but, he, you know, he, he's the instigator of all this stuff, isn't he? Um, but, yeah, no. Be, you know, I, I'm just, like I said, I'm gutted I can't be there and I'd love to catch up with, you know, mainly a lot of the guys that I haven't seen for the last 30 years. So, um, but, yeah, have a good one. Have a good time. Yeah. Get amongst it. It'll be good. Well, there you go. Uh, fellow classmates, the one and only man himself, all the way from um, from the UK, a great guy and a really great way to finish off uh, this video series. Andy, it's great seeing you. You are looking well, my friend. Take care of yourself and your family. Look forward to hearing about your proposal and your upcoming wedding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> enjoy yourself. I hope you're enjoying the um, the Olympics over there and, and keep keep COVID safe and all that good stuff. But mate, thanks for joining us. All the best to you. Keep in touch. Cheers, huge. Much appreciated, mate. Nice one. Good one. Cheers, Cheers. Andy. Thank you.